Now I'm going to show you how to make really tasty coffee with the AeroPress. The AeroPress is a small and simple device that is quite easy and fast to use to make one cup of coffee. It's basically a huge syringe but with a paper filter or a metal filter in the end instead of a needle. Now, a lot of people like to debate whether it's better to use a metal filter or a paper filter. For me it's almost equal. Except this one you don't run out of, so I always use this when I travel and I use this at work because it's faster to clean. Alright, the first thing we need to do is to measure up the coffee. And for AeroPress I recommend using 14 grams of coffee for 200 grams of water. That's equivalent to 70 grams per liter, which is a little bit more than what I normally recommend because I want the strength up. Perfect. And it's not a crisis if it's 14.2 grams. Around 14 grams is okay. Now we're gonna grind the coffee. And for the AeroPress, since it's a fast brewing method, we're gonna only brew for around a minute. We need to grind a little bit finer. So if you have like a filter setting on your grinder, make sure you grind a little bit finer than that. Set that aside. I like to use the funnel when I brew the AeroPress because it prevents from coffee squirting on your counter and it's also a little bit easier to press into. But you can basically use a cup or any vessel to press into. Just make sure it's big enough for the amount of coffee that you're brewing. Now I'm going to brew with the traditional method which means mounting the filter on the AeroPress first. So put the paper filter in the filter holder and mount it on the AeroPress. And make sure it's properly mounted. Now I'm going to use boiling water just to rinse the filter a little bit, just to get rid of that paper flavor. And I also do this with the metal filter because sometimes if you haven't cleaned the metal filter well enough, you might have a little bit of these oils left that gives you this rancid coffee flavor. So shake that off and I'm going to scrap the water. Okay, now it's time to have the coffee in. Pour it straight into the AeroPress. And then make sure you tear the scale, because now we're going to measure how much water we're going to use. And we're going to use 200 grams of water, because we used 14 grams of coffee. So just pour it in there, and then start the timer immediately. And it's okay if it's 199 grams, don't worry about it. I stir a little bit, just to make sure all the coffee and the water is mixed. And then put the handle on to prevent the coffee from going through the filter. And now we have to wait for around a minute before we're going to press. So now it's been around a minute. I'm going to take the whole air press off the scale because you don't want to press on the scale. That will really break your scales. Take the handle off and now I'm going to stir a little bit just to get a little bit more extraction out. If you stir 10 times, you'll extract even more, so make sure you just do it the same amount of time every time. Put the handle on and just lean on the AeroPress. If it's too hard to press, like you can't get it through, it means you've ground too fine. And if it's super easy to press through, it means you probably ground too coarse, which gives you a weaker coffee. So it should take around 20 to 30 seconds to press everything through. Shake it off. Then stir a little bit, now it's ready to serve. Perfect.